Hi everyone, welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Nikki. And today we're carrying on our article about the Yenshui Beehive Fireworks Festival that happens in Tainan every in January, January in the lunar calendar. Yeah, many years ago there was a there was a plague in this area. And many people died. Yes. That's why they started to celebrate this uh, festival. Yeah, that's how it all got started.、Mm. Uh, to get rid of the cholera plague, people prayed to Guan Gong and paraded around the city while setting off fireworks from big structures like beehives. Yeah, they tried to scare away、uh, the the evil spirits,、mm -hmm. mm, and the plague then went away. Right. Seems to have worked. Was it Guan Gong? Well, now we think the fireworks killed germs, and the noise scared away rats that spread cholera.、Mm, and from from that moment on, people kept celebrating in this way to honor the original event. Exactly, and it involves thousands of fireworks going off at the same time.、Mm. And in the videos I've seen of it, it kind of looks like people in the middle of a war with these <laughs> explosions and flashes. Yeah, I've and... seen the video on TV, yeah. but I've never participated in it. It does sound kind of like fun, a little dangerous, as、mm -hmm. we'll find out today as we look at the modern day celebrations and things you should do. Reading. The Yanshui Beehive Fireworks Festival, a Taiwanese tradition for over 130 years. If you attend the Yanshui Beehive Fireworks Festival, you must dress in protective clothing to avoid suffering burns. You should wear old clothes in case sparks land on you and your clothes catch fire. Wear a full face helmet, gloves, a thick jacket with long sleeves, long pants, and durable shoes or boots. Put a towel around your neck to stop sparks from getting inside your helmet. Finally, wear earplugs to protect your hearing. If you don't come prepared, you can find stands selling most of these items during the festival. To celebrate, a huge crowd of visitors transports an image of Guan Gong around the city to a gun wall in the street. The gun wall consists of thousands of fireworks that go off at once. This creates a loud sound with sparks flying everywhere. People believe engaging in this fireworks tradition sweeps away troubles and brings good luck in the new year. Be sure to stay safe if you participate in this exciting tradition. So we see in the article, if you attend the Yanshui Beehive Fireworks Festival. You must dress in protective clothing to avoid suffering burns. So here we have the adjective protective, which comes from the verb to protect. If something is protective, then it protects you in some way. Protective headgear is like helmets or hard hats that would builders would wear on building sites. Here's another example: Firemen wear protective clothes when they fight fires. 嗯，那在前一天我们有介绍到了盐水风炮的由来。今天的话，我们就要讨论一些如果你要参加的话要注意的注意事项。首先呢，课文告诉我们，如果要参加的话，你一定要穿戴防护衣物，以免会被烫伤。Protective 是形容词，意思就是防护的或者是保护性的。像在课文提到的 protective clothing， 指的就是防护衣等等的。那又或者我们可以说 ，My dog is very protective of me. She won't let anyone near me. Does she bark and like make a noise? Yeah, so like stay away, stay away from Nikki. There we go. <laughs> And so people should wear protective clothing at this festival to avoid suffering burns. To suffer something means to have a bad thing happen to you. You could suffer an illness. You could suffer an injury. You could suffer disappointment or heartbreak or all kinds of things. In this case, you'd suffer burns if the fireworks hit you and burn you up. And here's another example: the car suffered damage when the driver hit another car. Suffer 是动词，意思就是遭受或者是受苦、受折磨。通常呢，都指的是不好的事情。So if it's an illness or a disease, you suffer from it. For example, he suffers from depression. But if it's an injury, a loss, or a damage, you suffer terrible injuries. 
Exactly. So protective clothing would be things that are thick, quite strong, stuff that's not going to burst. You don't want to wear your best fashionable dress <laughs> to this kind of festival. Like high heels. Yeah, exactly. That's not really it. No, you want something kind of tough, you know, leather jackets, that kind of thing. The sort of thing you might wear when you're riding your bike in case you fall off to keep you safe. And the article adds, you should wear old clothes in case sparks land on you and your clothes catch fire. So a spark is basically a tiny piece of fire. It's a little bit of very hot energy. It's usually light, bright orange or something. If you like smack two rocks or pieces of steel together, you might get these tiny sparks and they will catch onto something and can start a big fire. 嗯，接着课文呢就解释到，你应该要穿一些旧的衣服，因为有可能会有一些火花掉到身上，然后就起火了。Spark 是名词，指的就是火花或者是火星。那如果是 sparkle 的话，会变成动词，意思就是闪耀 ，to shine brightly in small flashes. 嗯、mm, ，so a bunch of sparks come off these fireworks when they burst, and if one lands on you, you might catch fire.、Mm. To catch fire, of course, means to start burning. Burning become on fire. Now, catch fire. This phrase means to catch fire or to start a fire. A building can catch fire, or in this case, your clothes can catch fire if you don't wear protective clothing. Yeah, so wool not a good idea here.、Mm. Tends to burn. Cotton can also burn. Leather things, stuff with a bit more plastic in it. Got to be careful because plastic can melt. You don't want too much plastic. <laughs> but yeah, tough leather, tough clothing, that kind of stuff is what you need, really. The article also adds: wear a full face helmet. Gloves, a thick jacket with long sleeves, long pants, and durable shoes or boots. So we've got a big list of stuff here that you need to put on to keep yourself safe. The first one we've got is a helmet. A helmet is some kind of very hard hat, and it can go all the way around. It could just be on the top. It could be around the back and sides. This one says a. Full face helmet, so basically like a motorbike helmet. It will cover your face as well. Now, not all motorbike helmets are full face. You get some where you can pull it, pull it down over your eyes, and others where it's just more like the top bit. Here, you want a full face one because you need to protect your face as well as all around your head. So here's an example sentence: People who ride motorbikes must wear a helmet. It's the law. 所以说，要其实要参加盐水风炮，真的是要做好万全的准备。哎，你要戴一个全罩式的安全帽，还要戴手套、穿厚外套、穿长裤、长袖，还有很耐用的鞋子。那 helmet 是名词，指的就是头盔或者是安全帽。像是我们骑机车的时候，都一定要戴 helmets。那例句就说，骑机车的人都一定要戴上安全帽，是法律规定的。So we've got helmets to protect your head and face. A thick jacket with long sleeves and gloves、uh, will protect your arms and hands. And a jacket with long sleeves protects your arms because the sleeve is the arm part of some kind of clothing. A T-shirt with long sleeves or short sleeves, shirts long and short sleeves, jackets with long sleeves, and so on. You might say, for example. Todd often wears T-shirts with long sleeves in the winter months. Sleeve 是名词，就是袖子，像是 T-shirt 或是长袖的衣服都会有 sleeves。那如果是没有 sleeve 的衣服呢，我们就会称之为 vest 或者是 a tank top。那另外有关 sleeve 的谚语，像是 have something up your sleeve， 指的就是偷藏一招或者是有锦囊妙计的意思。又或者呢 ，wear your heart on your sleeve， 指的就是你可能你的喜怒哀乐都会写在脸上。Okay, so that covers your upper body. Then we mention long pants to cover, of course, your legs, and then durable shoes or boots. If something is durable, then it's tough. It can take a little bit of damage, some wear and tear. It's not going to break and fall apart as soon as you hit it once, and it's also likely to last for a long time. Denim jeans are durable; they don't tear easily, and they will last you for years. Hmm, durable is a 形容词，指的就是耐用的或者是持久的。也就是说，可能是比较不容易坏的意思。
So that's a long list of stuff to wear to keep、mm. you safe. But we don't end there. We've got another instruction here: put a towel around your neck to stop sparks from getting inside your helmet.、Mm. Very good piece of advice. And the article says, finally, wear earplugs to protect your hearing. Yeah, pretty important.、Mm. Earplugs can be made of like plastic or rubber or foam that can expand, and you just put them in your ears to protect them and to keep out sounds. So you'll see a lot of musicians and people who work with musicians wearing earplugs when they're playing live to cut down the noise. Sometimes even people in the audience will wear it if they're standing near the front. Construction workers who work on heavy drilling and things like that、mm. will often have earplugs in. And I used to even wear them at night sometimes when I lived in a very noisy place. Oh, sometimes I do too for、uh, when I'm studying. Hmm, good、mm. plan. 那接着课文就说，我们还必须要用毛巾围住脖子，以免那些火花会跑到安全帽里面。然后还要再戴耳塞，不然听力可能会受损。想象一下，超级多的烟火一次爆炸，一定是超级大声的。那 earplugs 就是名词，指的就是耳塞。Plug 这个字本身就是塞子或者是栓的意思。那塞在耳朵的东西呢？它就是耳塞，就是为了要防止噪音或者是保护听力的东西。So that's a lot of stuff. You might think, well, do I really have to buy all this、mm. stuff and bring it down to Tainan with me? <laughs> so well, you can't just go visit Tainan and say, "Oh, I want to go to Yan Shui Feng Pao." No, no, unless you're <laughs> going to really put yourself in danger.、Mm. But don't worry, as we see in the article, if you don't come prepared, if you don't bring all this stuff, you can find stands selling most of these items during the festival. Ah,、oh, so if you come before you have not prepared. 准备的话，你即使在这些庆典啊，它有一些摊位都可以找到这些东西。Okay, so let's get back to the festival then. What can we expect to see there? We see in the article to celebrate a huge crowd of visitors transports an image of Guanggong around the city to a gun wall in the street. So just like the original one, they're parading around bits of Tainan, and here they're transporting an image of Guanggong, a statue, a picture, something like that. And to transport means to move something from one place to the other. You carry things. You might be transporting. People, you could be transporting goods or products, or transporting、um, like food from one place to another, from a farm to a market. Here's another example: large ships transport goods from cities on one side of the world to the other. 那接着课文就说，为了要庆祝，大家也就是这些来参加活动的人，他们就会把关公沿着街上运到炮台的地方。Transport 是动词，意思就是运送或者是运输。那它的名词 transportation 就会是交通工具，像是我们搭的 MRT 大众运输工具，就会是 public transportation。那例句说，大型的船只把货物从世界这一端的城市运送到世界另一端的城市。So they carry, they transport this image of Guanggong around the city to a gun wall. Now, is this a wall of guns? <laughs> it sounds like it, and it almost is. We see in the article, the gun wall consists of thousands of fireworks that go off at once. So,、uh, yeah, kind of like you're walking into a big sort of thousands of gun barrels pointing at you. <laughs> so here we use the phrase "consist of." Consists of. Either way, and it's used to show what something is made up of when all its separate parts are together to make a whole. You could say this cake consists of eggs and flour and butter and sugar and so on. This wall consists of thousands of fireworks all piled up. A soccer team consists of eleven players plus a group of substitutes. 嗯，那这个炮台也就是钢火，其实也就是我们前一天所说到的一个 structure。它是由上千个烟火所组成而成的。Consist of 这个片语的意思就是由什么东西组成而成的。那 For example, my band consists of one vocalist, one drummer, and two guitarists. Mm -hmm. So these fireworks, they all go off at once, which means at the same time. This isn't like a display where they do, oh, a few rockets there and oh, a few bangs there. This is fire, boom, everything <laughs> goes off. 
Yeah. 那这个这些烟火呢，它就会全部一次被引爆。At once, 这个片语指的就是同时 at the same time or together. Hmm. And of course, as you might expect, this creates a loud sound with sparks flying everywhere. Hmm. Sounds very dangerous. Yeah, I don't think this sentence even does justice to just how explosive this is because <laughs> these aren't firing into the air; they're pretty much firing at、everywhere. and over the heads of the crowd. It's like they're shooting into you. This is. <laughs> I look it up on YouTube if you've never seen it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> And the article says people believe engaging in this fireworks tradition sweeps away troubles and brings good luck in the new year. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Now this makes sense considering this is the time of year. You know, this is around the Lantern Festival that we've talked about before. This is the end of the New Year holiday. The New Year is beginning, and people engage in this fireworks tradition for a purpose. To engage in something in this case means to take part in an activity. You choose to get involved. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to take part in this thing. I'm going to experience this thing. 嗯，所以呢，人们就相信说，参加这样的活动可以赶走不好的运气，可以去霉运。Engage in something 指的就是参加某个活动，或者是成为某件事情的一员。You participate in something. Mm -hmm. And this fireworks tradition, people do it to sweep away troubles. Now, sweep away literally would mean to move away with a brush, like you're sweeping the floor. But in this more figurative sense, it means to remove. You're getting rid of all your bad luck, all your bad troubles from the year before. Hmm. Sweep away 这个片语的意思是消除 Sweep 这个动词本身就是清扫或者是扫的意思。那在这边的意思呢，就是说把不好的事情给移除、消除。It's like in Chinese when Chinese New Year, you can't sweep the floor.、Mm, you know、yeah. that? You do it all on Chi on、uh, New Year's Eve, don't、mm. you? And then you don't clean or throw anything away on the day. Because that would bring bad luck. You want good luck. You don't want bad luck. Luck is fortune. It's this mysterious force. We can't control it, and we kind of believe it causes things to happen. You can have good luck when you didn't really do anything, but a nice thing turns up. You can have bad luck. You try hard. You do all the right things, but stuff still doesn't work out. We can't influence it. But we kind of like to pray for it or do something. We think, oh, this will bring me good luck. I'm gonna study and I'm gonna sleep with my book under my pillow. That'll bring <laughs> me good luck. That sort of stuff. For example, you could say, Paul says he has no luck at cards. He never gets the ones he needs to win the game. Hmm. Luck 就是名词，也就是运气。像是如果我们要祝人好运的话，我们就会说 good luck. Good luck with your work, or good luck with your exam. 那运气不好的话呢，我们可能就会是有 bad luck。那还有像是可能我们第一次接触一个新的游戏，结果我们就一直赢，结果呢这样子呢就可以说是一个 beginner's luck。Mm, like yeah, the first time you do something, you really good, you win the game, and everyone's、mm -hmm. like,、uh, you didn't know what you were doing. That's beginner's luck. But that's why people take part in this festival to have a big, enjoyable experience and to get rid of their bad luck. But of course, as our article says in the conclusion, be sure to stay safe if you participate in this exciting tradition. Yeah, because it's going to be dangerous.、Mm. Yeah, and now that's it.、Uh, that's all the time we have today. And now it's time for our for you chat question. Okay. For you chat. So, what do you do to get rid of bad luck or bring good luck into your life?、Hmm, personally, I will go and have my hair cut. Mm -hmm. I think cutting my hair brings me good luck. Okay,、mm -hmm. so not it's nothing just well, partly appearance, but partly, oh,、well, I'm going to do something important. Time to get my hair cut and bring yeah, some good luck、like、in. Yeah, it's like a change of a、uh, a brand new look. Um.、Mm. Okay. What about you? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. No, you, I I'm not a believer in luck. I believe as in fact that. Tattoo on my、work. leg says, "You make your own luck. You just kind of do stuff." And I suppose you could say, if you do it with a positive attitude, if you do、oh. it with kind of, "All right, I will take this thing, this opportunity." If you have that outlook, then you'll just get good luck. 
Mm, and if you sense. go into it, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to return this down because it might not be right, or I don't think it'll work.、Oh. Then you kind of make that come true as well. You have to be de- determined. It's yeah. It's a question of attitude. So、mm. how do you get good luck? You have a good attitude. How、mm. do you have bad luck? You have a negative attitude.、Mm. So it's nothing to do with any other things. No, no. There's there's no mysterious force. There's no like oh, I'm going to put my left sock on first, but my right <laughs> shoe, and, you know, and I'm not I'm not going to not going to put my t-shirt on until I leave my house because that's bad luck. Or <laughs> then again, I won't open an umbrella inside, and I probably wouldn't walk under a ladder either. But those are for practical reasons because、mm-hmm. stuff could fall on my head. Oh. So that's about as far as I go. But that's all the time we've got. Thanks for listening, everyone. Everybody for English for you. I'm Pat. I'm Nikki. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Protective. Tina painted the gate with protective paint to stop the rain from damaging it. Suffer. The man suffered a small cut to his hand after he fell off his scooter. Helmet. We need to put on our helmets before riding this motorcycle. Sleeve. The sleeves on Mark's sweater are too short, and his arms are cold. Transport. These ships transport goods to different countries. Luck. Lisa gave her boyfriend a beautiful little stone to give him luck and make sure nothing bad happens to him. 智慧小补帖。Spark. Durable. Earplug. Consist of something. The show is produced by Huayong Air Quality Control. Huayong Air Quality Control is a registered trademark of Huayong Air Quality Control. 如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。